Uh, we've only got about three weeks left until the end of the build. <sighs> it's flying by. <laughs> Sound right, let's mark it there. And then we'll level it up and then drill the holes. Jobs are good in. <laughs> Is that alright? Yeah. Nice. Welcome back everybody to part nine. I think we're dragging this on nicely, <laughs> getting loads of videos out of this build. Not on purpose, right? No, where we're gonna build up our car. So we need to make sure stuff like the wheels come out in the middle of the arch because now's the time where we can move them. We did mark it, so it should work. They'll be fine. Uh, stuff like gearbox mounts in the tunnel and things like that. We just need to make sure everything fits because Keith's face he pulls when I have to cut something or drill it after he's painted it. It's not good. It's not nice to watch like. Um, we're gonna have to start on the front because we're kind of uh, rear heavy on the car. So I think if we put the back diff in first, the car's just gonna fall off the ramp. So engine in, box in, front cross member and stuff like that. We've got all the parts laid out. So it's all ready to fit to our car. One thing I just wanted to say about the paint of the car. Now I've gone personally from wanting it white with a black stripe and then white with a gold stripe to match the gold wheels. Then it went to red with a gold stripe and then green with a darker green stripe. Uh, gray. Now I think I'm on gunmetal gray with a black stripe and gunmetal gray wheels. You're like British racing green, kind of darker green. Yeah, or a bright color. And then there's blues, there's loads of stuff. But what we want to do is we want to let you decide. So in a sec, if you pause the video, write in the comments and then what, on what color you'd do it if it was yours. And then all I'll do is I'll put the name and the color. We'll put everybody's into a hat and pick it out and we're going to spray it that color. So if it looks hideous, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that will be a good way of choosing the color, I think. And it's totally out of my hands. Yeah, brilliant idea. Right, so let's start smashing this car together. Right, because time is of the essence and Keith wants this car down the body shop ASAP, we're gonna build it up with all the parts still dirty. It just means we can fit it up quick and then when we strip it, Keith's got the car, I've got the bits I need and I can be cleaning them up and painting him when he's doing that. So uh, let's smash on. That's nice and bent, isn't it? Hammer. straight in the head. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. Great banter. Great banter, Keith. Oh, ho. <laughs> Drop that, mate. Right. right, lift. Okay, down. Right. Pump, pump me up. Pump me up, baby. Uh. No, I'll start pumping. <laughs> okay, I'll get the engine. Pump away, pump away. Where we snap the distributor off. That's where it dropped on my foot. 
If it drops on my foot, it'll always just miss the steel toe cap, so it gets me right on the toe. Well, just above the toe. Hmm. Right, down a bit, back a bit, down a bit. There we go. Okay, where's the gearbox? It's like my Zimmer frame, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Bottom of the bag. Shall I pick them up? Where's all the nuts? Where are those fucking nuts, are they? Too bad. Where? <laughs> oh, tell you what, this is heavy. Down a bit better. Ah, there we go. It's just, I think you're right in the way of the camera there. <laughs> Sorry. Just take, take the extension off it. I'll do it the other way now. He's got it on undo. This is where the chain breaks. Dunk. Okay. Right, you can undo this and I'll lift it. I don't mind lifting it. I'll nah, that's it. right. Okay. I'll lift it up to you then, because you're old. We ain't gonna do it like that with it painted, because that's... <laughs> going. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm hanging. All right, let's go down with the engine, the Yunjin. Yunjin? Well, I reckon we're gonna have to put the engine mounts on after. I reckon slide the engine near enough where it is, then put the engine mounts on with them over there. Right, so take two without the mounts on. Let's try that. Do you reckon we're gonna end up having a Put the engine in first, then put the box on the engine. No. Because it'll be a bit of a... No, I think we can do it this way. <clears throat> See, the Mark II, the uh, engine mounts are just a pin and it pushes in and slots down. Yeah. Whereas this has got... It goes either side of it. Yeah, take them off first and then just put it in like we are now. Yeah. I think we'll do it. Definitely easier on a Mark II though. Right, let's go uh, backwards a little bit. And then we've got to go down with the engine. Oh, he did it for us. All right, ready? Okay, well, she's stuck on the cross number. All right, back a bit. That's it. That's against the bulkhead. That's all right, he's in. Put that. All right, let's try and get these mounts on. To, I need to like twist the engine like that and then we'll get it in. There's an engine crane there. Oh, did you just bang your head? <laughs> right, we've got our engine in, fits in the engine bay good. Unfortunately, the gearbox don't fit. So the tunnel's okay, it's wide enough, only just. Yeah. We might have to just massage it a It's a bit. snug fit. Keith's drilled the rear gearbox mount out because that's in the wrong place. And because it's now a five-speed box and not a four-speed like it was standard, where the gear stick comes out, the hole is in the wrong place. So what we've got to do again. Bit of uh, seat removal. Yeah, seat removal, bounce out, and then the lad had bought this, which sits on top of the tunnel. So we're going to have to cut the hole where the gear stick comes out, weld this on, and then hopefully that's our engine and box in. Yeah. So let's get cracking.
<laughs> Hello. So we cut that out. Bit of a change of plan already. I, I want to do this more as a road car, something that people can enjoy every day, not just like competition use. And with that on there, that looks a bit gross, doesn't it? Obviously ideal if it's just something you're going to smash around a, a rally stage or something like that. But for driving every day, it's just not appealing to me really. So we've just cut that piece out and actually the gear stick comes out there. And I think what we're going to do is just turn it round like that and then just weld it back on. So our gear stick comes out then in the middle of the hole. It looks nice. I'll be able to put a thin piece of carpet on it. So uh, let's do that instead. It's a tapiometer. Sorted. Twisted. That's it. She's on, Chuck. Putting this on when it's fainted. Gonna be a lot of touch up. Any problem with aftermarket stuff? It just never fits properly, does it? No. If you do everything, I'll just stand here and hold the light. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that. Okay. That's all you're good. That's all you're good for. All right. Next. Next leaf spring. Hole's not big enough. <laughs> Hole is definitely not big enough, mate. So we're already struggling with this. Uh, the front bush didn't fit, which was uh, too wide, and the rear bushes were too wide. And now the uh, little lowering block, I suppose. The hole in the middle of the leaf spring's not big enough for that to go in, so uh, I have to drill that out. That's going to be fun through the leaf spring, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not like it's hardened, sprung metal or anything, no, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> right, let's get drilling. So we're going to cut back to me not being stupid this time. So I was trying to fit that block that way round, when actually it fits the other way round. <laughs> and a little bolt goes in to hold it in place. It just shows how long I had done one for and it's the problem of not taking the car apart in the first place. Come on in. Hopefully we've got that the right way around now. Oh, can't do, can't do that when it's painted. But we will. Is yours in? Yep. Mine's about two inches out. I'm only joking. <laughs> That's it, right. Do you know what, that wouldn't surprise me at the moment. <laughs> Let's get these U-bolts in. Goes on like that. See. There we go, we'll get it right in the end. Can you squeeze your bits in? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's bitter. I hope that's the way of doing it anyway. Yeah. We'll soon let us know if it's wrong. Probably will be. <laughs> so we might need lowering yet, so we might have to put bigger aluminium block. A bigger spacer in there. So yeah. we'll leave these like that for now. Yeah. And then if we do, we don't have to, yeah, and then we'll cut them off once we know the ride height. Okay. Uh, right, let's go and lob the diff in and the half shafts. Okay. Morris Miners. Back when you were 16 in the 1800s. Yeah, we used to have a Morris Miner van. If you spun the back wheels, you used to break the back half shafts. We used to, I used to work at a Tata 
<coughs> a, ta a place? Tata. Tata, and it was pickup trucks, and these used to fail. People driving down the road, and the rear half shaft used to come out like this, with the wheel and drum. So funny. I'll do this in one switch, and then it looks more professional. Okay, ready? Wow, that was one real swoosh, wasn't it? I'll do it again. All right, ready? Oh. All <laughs> right, ready? A third time, fourth time. Take six. It's definitely in there, the dip. That'll do. <laughs> so we're having disc brakes on this, but just for mock-up, we're gonna fit the drum brakes and I think I've got to take this back out again. After all that, and then put that on. Then this. Just like that. It don't fit. <laughs> Come on, you bugger. Oh, it's all bent. Paul fitting half shaft, take 20. Thank you very much. Yeah, there we go. All right, we need bolts. Bolts. Ready? <laughs> Loudest plane in the world goes over as well. <sighs> oh, drop that wheel bearing that in all the swarf on the floor. Yeah, put it straight on. I'll give it a wipe first. Where's me wheel? Okay, dokie. See you in a minute. And there we go, folks. That is our patchwork quilt escort by the looks of it. She's lovely. All built up and ready. It's always good building it up because at least I can now see that those wheels come out dead in the middle of that bubble arch, yeah. which is ideal. Um, there's still loads to do. We're on day 40 something now. We've got to basically strip it. We've got to flip it upside down. There's a couple of repairs. We've got to do the chassis rail. Yeah. Uh, and the spring hangers as well. We've got to replace those and wow, the tubs, you know, up to the arch and stuff like that. Still lots of work to do. Will we do it? <laughs> so remember to put in the comments on what color you would do this car if it was yours. And then, as I said, we'll put them in a hat pick it out yeah fingers crossed for a good one nobody put pink i was just gonna say pink yeah. <laughs> no one put pink or like yeah a luminous orange or yeah. something. well mind you orange is not bad so that's it for this video so from me i'll say see you again and from keith see you on the next one Ta-da! Ta -da. so a bit of a change of plan already oh was that me <laughs> smiley yes <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Right, let's go. All right, Mush. Oh, Smells of uh, a bit of gravy on the next train. Oh. <laughs> no. Can't say it with the camera on, it's not PC correct. She's done that again. <laughs> you hold it. Are we on? Yeah. Right. Okay. No, I can't do that actually because I just shouted. Right, ready? Okay. Did you just say again? 
fucking f***ing pigs. Right, ready? This is where the chamber is. Okay. Right. Cut.